Okay, so this is a video on Affinity 1.8 update and I'll be focusing mostly on the ability to import smart objects. So the point of a smart object is that it kind of acts like a protective layer on an image, which means you can shrink it or expand it and it's not going to remove any data. But that's not really an issue in Affinity Photo as unless you rasterize the layer, you can still resize it and it's not going to destroy the image. But if you're working in a team and some people might be using Photoshop and you have to send things back and forth, it's very handy to be able to open and edit on Affinity Photo while you're on the move, especially on the iPad. This video is also sponsored by Affinity Photo, so thank you very much. So one of the most common uses you're going to come across in smart objects is templates. So in mockups, the smart object would be the layer that is the cover of the book or a business card or the picture that's inside a frame. And there are thousands of mockups online that have already been made in Photoshop that you can just download. So first I'm going to open Safari, which is better because of its inbuilt downloader. And then I'm going to go on a mockup site. So I'm going to go to mockup world, but there's many other mockup sites that you can use and I'll leave it listed down below. Or you can just go to Google and type in PSD mockups. And as you can see, there's all these mockups. So there's picture frames, business cards, um, boxes. But for this example, I want to use a billboard. So I'm going over to the search bar. I'm just typing in billboard. And then I'm just finding the one that I like, which is this one. So I'm just clicking on it. And then I'm clicking free download. And then it should redirect you to a different site. And then I'm going to click download again. And then click download. And then you should see it in the top right corner. And then when that's done, click up here. And then click on the mockup. And then you need to find the one you've downloaded. And this is a zip file, so I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to click the folder. So you can see them all there. And now if I go over to Affinity Photo, so make sure you're on the home page. And if you've just updated it, click on the gear icon in the top right corner. And then make sure you have import PSD smart objects where possible ticked on. And it says where possible because not everything is going to be usable. So there's just certain things that Photoshop can do that Affinity Photo can't do. In those cases, you won't be able to alter the tool that was used in Photoshop. So just bear that in mind if something doesn't seem to be working. And I also want to turn on show touches. That's when you get the blue circle around what you're doing. And now click the plus sign at the top right. And then click import from cloud. And then you just need to find your mockup, which will usually be in the downloads. So then I'm going to click on the folder. And then I'm clicking the mockup. So this will import it with all of the layers and the smart objects. So the top one is where your design is going to go. And then you've got the perspective, which will make your picture fit. And then you've got the reflection. And then you've also got the background. So if you wanted to replace the background, you could, but it's not needed in this example. That could just be more for 
picture frames and business cards. And sometimes you might have a coloured background that you can change on the colour wheel. One other thing you can do, if you know you're going to come back to it later, or if you've made your own and you know you're going to be using it loads, you can save it as a template, which will save the embedded file separately with all the layers. So go to the document button at the top left and then click export as template. And then I'm just renaming it to mockup. And I'm saving it in Affinity Photo on my iPad and then click save at the top. So then if you go back to the home screen and click the plus sign and then click new from template. So again, I saved it on my iPad in Affinity Photo. And then just click it and it'll open up. Or if you're making thumbnails for YouTube, for example, and you don't want to keep putting in the dimensions every time you open it, a new document, you can save that as a template too. So I'm just going to put in the dimensions for YouTube. So I'm changing that to pixels. And then it's 1280 by 720. And then again, I'm exporting that as template. And I'm saving it to Affinity Photo. And again, I'm clicking new from template. And then I'm finding my thumbnail. And again, it'll just open up the document. It's just convenient, so you don't have to do that every single time. But the thing I'm focusing on is the design. So if you go to the top layer where the design is, and then just double tap, and it will open up a document like this. And it's a different one to the one you were on before. So this one is just made for the smart objects. And now you want to add your design, so I'm clicking on the three dots and then I'm going to click on place and place from photos. So I'm just importing a random picture that I made. I'm just resizing it to fit the canvas. But you can obviously make your design the size of the picture when you edit it. I'm just using this one to show you. And you can also edit it more while you're here. So if I want to bring the white points up. And you can also edit it more while you're here. So if I want to bring the brightness up, for example, and some contrast. And maybe some clarity. And then when you're happy with it, just click the arrow at the top, which will take you back to the other document. And you'll see my picture is there. So this is going to be very useful if you're working with clients, for example. You might be working on a logo 
So you'd then put your design in a mock-up and you'd send that over to the client and that way you've both got a good idea of what it would look like. And before you could only do that on Photoshop, but you can do it on Affinity Photo now too, which is very useful.